If you know me as Gordon Fly, if I introduce myself as Gordon Flowers to you, you're either um, being trolled or you're going to go to jail soon. A YouTube creator who posts videos entrapping possible pedophiles recently arrived in the Sacramento area. Law enforcement officials say his behavior is dangerous and he needs to stop. We basically set up these pedos across the country. So, for example, this past trip, got an arrest in Port St. Lucie. You can look, look that up. Uh, his name is Rodney Hickman. A Port St. Lucie man is in jail today, accused of arranging to meet a 13 year old girl for sex. And I just think it's better to leave it to law enforcement professionals to do this type of work. There's just way too many of these people to only leave it to law enforcement or to only leave it to us. All right, guys. So um, we're about to go get somebody. He lives at a homeless shelter, but he's uh, very, very disgusting. He's offered $500 to who he thinks is a 13-year-old girl to you know, do the deed with her. He doesn't want to meet up today because he unfortunately, he was living in Phoenix, but he moved to Tucson here because into a homeless shelter. So we'll see how it goes. He still broke enough laws according to the Arizona Penal Code. So um, yeah, let's get right into it. My nigga been hustling, trying to make him something. Ain't no telling what he'll do for the play. Ain't no telling. Souffle, hung straight. I stay my plate, shot day. I'm a smooth operator. I drop top of my wheel. That con driving make you feel some type of way. I know you do. That custom brightening make you feel some type of way. I'm shining, ho. This bitch on we got me feeling some type of way. Okay, okay. Easy cause my homies rich, you feel some type of way. Are you guys working here? <laughs> we, well, we're, we're at work here, yeah. Yeah. This is our office space. Yeah. <laughs> so you're in uh, Staples everywhere you go? They, they, like, they truly need to sponsor us at this point. Or did you realize you're probably the only 20-year-olds that are in Staples anymore? Yes, of course. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's hilarious. All the other, if other 20-year-olds are printing, they're in, oh, I'm in my, I'm in my college library. <laughs> so at first, when we first started doing this, I chatted with a lot of them. And I still monitor the chats and say stuff here and there, like, to, you know, if I see something I should add. You know, the decoys are so convincing. They're so good at what they do. How do you hire for that? Are you putting, like, jobs on Indeed? If you show me that you're capable and you show me that like, you know, you're about it, then there, there's always going to be a spot for you no matter what. And that's what they've done. Okay, so now I'm going to make a PDF of the guy later today just to have it printed out. I believe I reserved the printer here. Hmm. How could they hinder my investigations? Do you have like a platinum membership here? Or you... <laughs> yes, it exists. Look. Excuse me, are you not platinum member? Do you have a Staples Rewards card? Yeah. I get a ton of rewards. I say $5 a year. <laughs> I should just start reading the chat logs aggressively loud to make people go so I can start printing. Do you think it would be as impactful if you didn't print this out? No. With the chats, it's so, you know, it, it's, a, it, it's a psychological tool, man. It brings more weight to the situation. It brings more weight to the situation. And, you know, you can always, like, just kind of, like, I am. Like, when they're trying to be dishonest, you can always just kind of start flipping through them. And then it gets them back on track without you having to say shit. I crave you. You want me to be your first? Okay. I don't know. Okay. I am so embarrassed about all this. I love the brown bag method. Oh, yeah. The brown bag. Yeah, yeah, that's that's the best thing ever. The maybe. reveal. And people tell me like, well, you should get a three ring binder. And maybe that guy can help me find some three ring binder accessories. I don't find three ring three binder. ring binders. Man, well, he's wearing a lion's hat, so no rings there. Yeah, so. no rings. There. <laughs> <laughs> Did you find those three ring binders, sir? Got you. Nice. That'd be some good B-roll to have it there. Brown bag at this point. I mean, that, it, that's that's, that's just the shtick at this yeah, point. Yeah. What they do, young niggas? What they do, young bitches? I mean, there's a legit chance that I've I've probably spent more money at Staples than anybody in the country. Like, probably some some places don't have self printing, and you know, I, if it like having to like explain to them, some people are like, I'm not printing that. Which, I, I mean, just press the fucking print button. Right. Like, it doesn't it's affect you anyway. Yeah. Right, right. But they're like, it's against company policy to print out what you want printed out. And I'm like, I mean, that's no way that's a fucking policy. I send all the receipts to my girlfriend. She just saves them all for me. Wow, these are a lot of chat logs, huh? No, not in this case. It's about oh. like maybe 20 or 30. What's the most chat logs you printed out? Oh, God. Like two or 300, probably. Oh, so right around with that Nina. With that how do you guys end up getting these locations? In this case, he just this guy just gave us where he's living. 
Really? Yeah, because you got to think, like, obviously we know it's fake, and we're all saying, like, well, how can you fall for this? But on the Predator's end, all they all they think is they're messaging somebody, they've seen them on video call already, so it's like, in, the, in their mind, there's no reason to think that it could be fake. A few people that are my friends, they know you, uh -huh. they just watch your stuff, and they, they wanted to know how you got so good at making them comfortable to get that information out. Do you have any trade secrets you will <clears throat> say? Yeah. Um, so Pablo carries and behind the camera, we're just pointing a gun at them. They just fucking spill it. <laughs> you know, they say what you do might be dangerous, things like that, when the police make those comments. Individuals could escalate the situation. They could do things that are illegal. It could turn into a very hostile and violent situation. What is your message to them. <clears throat> well there's a danger to everything there's a danger to driving uh to the location we're going and all that so yeah we accept that it's, it could very well be a danger and if you listen to a predator either admit to molesting their daughter admit to wanting sex with a decoy admit to having child porn on their phone if you think them admitting to that and then having chat logs corroborating that hurts a case i don't agree with that I'm like i don't think the cops don't do their jobs i think they do do their jobs i just think there's not enough people doing that job so that's where uh concerned citizens come in before they can ask, what do you have the cameras for? We will tell them it's be, it's for your sake, not ours. The reason why there's cameras is for safety reasons. So you can be assured, like, we're not here to hurt you or take anything from you, ask for anything. I got two people filming for safety reasons, okay? Yes, yeah, so, so everything's safe. All right. Yeah. I got two people, we have no weapons on us, okay? You just gotta, like, sell them on their own demise, pretty much. Like, you, you gotta just convince them that jumping into that lake of fire is a good thing. What's the youngest age you've heard of somebody? Oh, just an infant, like common that's way 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 too common but yeah that's two sex offenders in the past uh three days both in the same group that in the group was centered around liking babies and we got them both to spill their guts about watching said videos of babies i hope from this documentary people might people hopefully will see something where a predator admits what they are and um you know Hopefully people can be more aware of that. These DAs do a terrible job, for the most part, of giving them um, sentences they deserve. Just that total control they love, you know? That is disturbing. Do you yeah. think that comes from a loss of control, the younger in their childhood that they had, or? It's not an excuse because we have so many people that watch our channel that have been through this as a kid and the last thing they would do is be a pedophile. In fact, they give money to us to stop pedophiles, so I don't think they would go ahead and do that. I think they're all born this way in some way, but I think abuse as a kid can exasperate already what's ingrained in their mind. How much of the population do you think are born pedophiles? Oh, God. Uh, I mean... I've never been asked that. Either. I've never been asked that either. Oh, shit. Or he gave me all the questions in the script. What's going on here, dude? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Conservatively, two. Uh, liberally, five. Like, wow. yeah, two to five percent. Maybe not like, you know, I like babies and all that stuff, but like one percent maybe. I think it could be. One percent, yeah. Wow. Oh, oh fuck it. Whatever. You know, I'll blur it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just gotta love like she's like a rehab counselor just, just smoking a cigarette dude he, does, he doesn't live at community bridges luca he doesn't he does not i'm gonna like, kick him out or what but... yeah i'll just try giving him a call and let you know what he says oh, yeah. hi how's it going is this a uh, luca yeah yeah it's a uh, my name's gordon uh, i'm supposed to deliver a package for you some type of like i think money order or whatever i don't know i'm at the gospel recognition Gospel Rescue Mission. Is that in uh is that here in Tucson? My crossroads are sixth street. Okay. Six, six and um Tucson Boulevard. Okay, got it. In 2018, I was doing prank calls, not even like posting them or just like for, for fun. And I just did like a random name generator and Jordan Flowers came up on the random name generator. Ever since then, it's just been a it's just been a name I used to fuck with people. Hey, I don't know. Hey, bro, what's your name? Gordon. Gordon Flowers, nice to meet you. Go, my name is Gordon. My name is Gordon Flowers. The Gordon Flowers hoodie. I mean, uh, relationship, white shoes, and a uh, uh, red hat. Okay, got it, man. Thank you so much. Um, I will uh, head on over. I appreciate you, dude. Deliver to the guy wearing the red hat. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Get fucked. And chewing on some hot nigga. Hot nigga. Like I took to I see when I shot niggas. Yeah. Like you seen him twirl, then he drops, nigga. And we keep the mind millies on my block, nigga. How many uh, dick pics have you seen? All right, well, <laughs> first of all, I just want to preface this by saying 
I'm straight, but I've seen probably a hundred times more dick pics than vagina pictures. Dude, at this point, it, I mean, it's, it's, it's nothing now. Like, they're, like, at first, dude, trust me, like, seeing the first dick pic that was sent to me, I was like, oh, 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 it was like a visceral reaction, but now it's just so numb. It's so, so numb at this point. Like, it doesn't really matter. To think that me, to think that me Alex Rose, and has seen more dick pics than most porn stars, it's, it's a pretty big feat, I'd say, but I would estimate we have about 200 arrests, give or take a little bit either way, and I would guess that we have about 100 convictions. Out of how many total catches have you made? So, the total catches, I would guess, is about 600, but I will say also, it's kind of skewed because in 2019, we did so many in Houston, where we're from, and we're just, I mean, we're 19 year old kids screwing around, just shouting at them, and just kind of like, you know, doing the whole world star type shit. Hey, it's here to meet a 13 year old boy. How did you learn to separate yourself from these weirdos when you're talking to them? How do you keep your calm, and how do you, how are you able to speak to them like they're not the person they are? Basically, it's a mission at hand. I mean, if you can control yourself for one to two to three hours, you know, the result's gonna be, a, the pedo in a lot more trouble than if we just beat him up for 10 minutes. I can't lie, I have fun doing this. Like the mental chess game, it's definitely, uh, it's definitely entertaining to me. Like, you know, I like, you know, it's like it's like a battle of wits. It's it's, it's fun, man. It's competition. Yeah, I would just say like probably park right next to him instead. Yeah. Why don't you just call him? Yeah, maybe maybe I could just bring him across yeah. the street. Yeah, just get in good position. I hope Tucson PD's not too busy. Okay, no problem, man. Whoever's listening, just tell Pablo to start the live. Hey, dude. You good? Your leg all right? Bad leg. Good, nice to meet you. Gordon. Oh, well, it's about some messages to Ariel we should probably go over. I just want to have a conversation okay. with you about it, okay? Why don't we just have a seat here? You trying to get your life back together? Yeah. Awesome, yeah. dude. I respect the hell out of that, and, you know, I'm all about, like, making sure we can overcome that. Just get, let's get this taken care of, and we'll, we'll be all right. Cool? Let's do it. How old is, how old is she as she was? Yeah. I know I'm in the wrong. I know I'm, I know I'm in the wrong. I know. Okay. Ooh. Inappropriate in, like, what type of ways? Every way. Sexual, every way. Every way. Every way. Were there any, like, pictures sent to her? Sure. Of what? Your dick? Yeah. Oh, got you. Okay, so this is it's you on video call showing your penis? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right, cool, cool. Would it make sense that you might have said I would pay you $500 to have yeah, sex with you every weekend? 100%, 100%. Okay, did you actually have $500 to offer her? No. Okay, well. I don't, I'm broke, I'm looking for a job. Yeah, no, I figured, I figured. So why'd you, why was, why was, why'd you tell her that? I don't know, I don't know why I did this, man. I did this because I'm lonely. Women don't reach out to me, never. Mm -hmm. So, that He said he shoots seven feet of c That's what he said. Like talking to the decoy. God damn, dude. I could really go for some, uh... I really shouldn't eat too much fried pickles, dude. They're fucking, like, bad for you, but my god. Oh, fried pickles. Oh, yeah, fried pickles is our code word for cops. Oh, god. So myself and two of my team members, we are part of an organization that posts online as underage, underage children. He did solicit sex and solicit nudes. And under his own free will, he did admit to us on camera that he... Uh, sent all these messages. What's the longest time Alex has had to stall for the cops? Remember that, that guy I caught in Florida? I edited that video. It was like six hours, people yeah. waiting? Yeah. Yeah. I will I'll never use Facebook Messenger ever again. Except for to call my, 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 my mom and my grandmother. Okay, I mean, I mean, do you, do you think there could be like an internet addiction going on? It is. It, it is. I'll never use Facebook Messenger again. <laughs> <laughs> That's the problem. I mean, I don't know, man. Some of this shit was like... Come on, just like chilling for a sec. What's the what's the Atah? Did they I called like ten minutes ago, fifteen. Oh, okay, got it. One one. What's the location of your emergency? Um. Well, there's an individual here. Um. You just want to kind of just tell them, and you can see what they want to do here. So I. I want to show a little bit of statement. So I would just tell them the truth. I uh. Underage somebody that I met somebody that was underage. I I sent them some explicit details on what I would want to do to them. Yeah, I'm not, this is my first time ever doing this, um, that I can recall. And can we get a spelling on his last name? Oh, gosh. Give, give me five minutes. No, no. How do you, here, how do you spell it? R-A. Lucas, what's your phone number? 520. He just gave the police his phone number. Dude, why is he saying all of this? This is crazy.
Unfortunately, I don't have anyone in route at this time. I do apologize on the delay there, but we're going to try and get someone out there as soon as we can in order to speak to him. We obviously prioritize life-threatening emergencies right, as right, right. one goal. We have one other potentially life-threatening emergency that just got taken by an officer. Okay. Here, let, if you don't mind, we should probably just go in and just get, you, get your job interview. Let's, let's do that. Oh, no, 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 wait. I just need some water, dude. My mouth gets dry out here. I just literally want proof I didn't hurt you or threaten you, man. You're good. Do you actually have a job interview here? Yeah, I do. Nice. Cool, cool. Wow, this is an actual grocery store? God, looks, smells delicious. I don't need sparkling water. What the fuck is that garbage? Dude, this place is probably good as fuck. Jesus Christ, dude, we should have gone here. Damn, not even 911's picking up. Not even 911's picking up. Do we know each other? You do? Yes! Oh, okay, I love it. He just wants to go to the bus stop. The crosswalk. <laughs> Let's go to the crosswalk. Jesus Christ! Yes, daddy. <laughs> oh, what the oh, fuck? Wow. This is so bizarre. Crosswalk. Uh, <laughs> what? That bee. Oh, fuck that bee. <laughs> the... Green go. Oh, Green my go, God. Green go. <laughs> Okay, buddy, let's go. See my hand, please. Give me your hand up. Now hold your hand. It broke. Hand, give me your hand. What the fuck? Give me your hand. Okay. Okay. Almost. <laughs> How is this even real? This is so bizarre. Down. Okay. Aviva, I know Abajo. Okay. But we we genuinely did not invoke or do anything like. No, I agree. They're not. All right, there you go. I got bribes in Atlanta. Just a dolly in the family. Credit cards in the scams. Hitting the licks in the van. Legacies, fam. Way and see, look like a panda. Going out like a Montana. Honey killers on the hands. Yep, this is Tucson, Arizona response time. This is uh. The common course here. If we were in the county, the sheriff would have been here in like 30 minutes. Tops. He admitted to what he admitted, uh, needed to admit to to confirm uh, what we thought was evidence of a crime. So I think uh, they should come arrest him right now. When was the first time you thought about doing this stuff? I was already in bed. Here, going after, in my hair after my injury. And you guys, fellas, I don't, I've never done this. Since before my injury, this never happened. How did you feel when he started pulling out the messages, things like that? Our drops. So I, I knew, I knew exactly what it was about. I knew exactly what it was for. I know. Yeah, I get to go to jail for it. Did you ever think that you would get caught for doing this? I think towards the end there, I knew I was gonna, that's why I deleted her number, I deleted everything. What did you think of Alex's approach of how he came up to you, how he talked to you? Alex did a good job. The way he does it, he did a good job. He got her on the phone to the individual. Do you feel any resentment towards him? No. Thank God for people like him. He, he he confessed everything so easily, and it should be a field day for, you know, if the cops show up, take it up. I kind of like it better. Like I have a funner time when they when they like give like oh I got hacked or this or that, and then they end up spilling at the end because that, that shit's like so fun. I mean this is fun too. It's all fun, but you know it's like playing Madden on rookie mode versus playing Madden on all Madden mode. You know what I'm saying? So like this guy this guy's playing on rookie. I text the address again, still waiting on an officer. And they're like, and they just end the session. Or jeez, dude, we're still waiting on an officer, and we called three hours ago. Okay. And your name, sir? It's Alex Rosen, A L E X. Last name's R O S E N. I do see the call here. Please do apologize for the delay. We are trying to get an officer freed up from other 911 emergencies to get out to. Yeah, but it's been like three hours. Do you like not take this seriously, or? No, so your call is is in place. Like I said, the officer does take it serious if they're dealing with other 911. Yeah, but is there like three, is is there like, th yeah, but I don't think there's like three hours straight of just shooting, stabbings, and robbings, like continuously for three straight hours with no pauses in between. Well, also, Tucson police themselves, all of their officers are busy, they're out handling other 911 calls. No, I mean, you know, that's, yeah, I understand that part, but I don't think not, I don't think every single call they're handling is like some, like, urgent situation. I mean, that just doesn't make any sense, unless there's like three hours continuously of like just complete violence and chaos. I mean, I don't really see that happening here, so. Well, your call isn't the only call in place here in the city of Tucson. 
Oh no, I understand that. I mean, I, I mean, I understand that for the first like two hours, but not that. I mean, the third hour, it's kind of like, I mean, come on, man. So, would you like to add anything new into your call? I would like to add some officers on the scene. I do apologize for the delay, but like I said, at this moment, too, some police is handling the calls as quickly as they can. Okay, so is as quick as they can three hours? Uh, yeah, unfortunately, at this moment, that is how it is going right now. Yes. All right. Yeah, that's uh, good to know. Yeah, I mean, that's just that that reflects poorly on you guys, but all right. All right, you have a great day. Yeah, I, I just I still have just a hard time believing there's four hours straight of life threatening emergencies. I mean, I think we would just I, I mean, I think this place would be on fire if that was the case. I mean, I just I mean, I think we would see that in front of us. There's four hours straight of it just happening consistently. Okay, it's third. I just, I just really don't believe I just didn't really make any sense. I mean, I just don't know. I mean, it's just not adding up to me. Third? Yep. There's nothing that I can tell you that officers are on other calls that are life-threatening emergencies that they have to prioritize. Well, I'm getting bored to death here. Is that life-threatening or...? No, sir, that is not life-threatening. Okay, got it. Just confirming. He was dying. Don't you see, I just now said the best thing for you to do is to come down to Pima County. Everybody close on The jail? Yeah. They, they, did they specify the jail? Pima County Jail. she said. We're taking him to the jail, so... Okay. Just, oh, you're in the car right now? Yeah, I'm just in awe that, like, the guy was telling me how he, how there was, like, car break-ins on camera happening at the moment down the, like, at, on his street, and they called the cops, and they didn't even show up till the next day. Wait, I was telling him we had an incident at the house last month, it was called Broke Our Windows, bro. Broke the car windows on camera, we called the police, dude was sitting at the bus, and they came the next day. Did they actually tell you to turn yourself in? This individual's uh, turning himself in. Uh, They'll send a sheriff's deputy. Yeah, yeah. That's great. They have private security at the sheriff's office. Hey, Lucas, here, just, just talk to her. Just talk to her. He, he's turning himself in here. My name is Lucas, and I'm turning myself. I just want to expedite. I want to get in there a little faster. TPD is still not responding to our call, so we just decided to. Uh, well, he just decided to turn himself in because he's ready to be arrested. He knows he fucked up and he just wants to make it happen. I'm also going to direct you over to TPD so you can let them know as well, since that's going to be their jurisdiction, okay? All right. No, man, we're loitering. Send somebody now. He's actually taking accountability and he's turning himself in. So is there, is there like a is there anybody that's available or is, is the whole city just in flames or what's going on here? I don't think that like i told you there's other higher priority calls going on seven hours later yeah no shit all right we'll take anybody at this point i mean you can eat we'll wait here oh my god is this the county is this the county please be the county basically he said dick pics to me if i was 13 year old right okay so and so there's like cameras and stuff just curious well we're filming the interaction with him so well, for evidence, for that he did. Tucson PD doesn't want to respond. I mean, he did the shit in all jurisdiction, too. So, yeah, that hurts the bus for sure. Same county. Did you guys hear the report about this guy by chance or the calls we made? I did not. You heard nothing? Man, we made like seven or eight calls. Took like six hours or something like that. We we're just holding on to this guy. As you can see, like that's the clip I should. Oh shoot! Like that's a clip I sent him a little bit ago. Nice dude. Oh, I see the caption there. This on feed. He doesn't care. About um, if this footage is in the video, I'm, I'm sure we'll find it. If it's not, well. Nobody's gonna see it. <laughs> took a house, I took your bitch, took that whole town. Play my role so good after I hit, I took a ball. Take some pounds for a pile. Take your time, take it serious. I'm curious, should I buy me a watch or a query? Fuck nigga, I can get you knocked off with no effort. The clip hanging out tonight like it ain't no teller. Girl say when she with me, she get so wet her. Say she like to throw that ass on the low catcher. Like little baby, I can do that shit with no effort. You know I do this shit with no effort.